Hey everyone, Alan Page here and welcome to my talk at TestFlix. Today's topic is three paths to better developer testing. Brent Jensen and I on the AB Testing Podcast have been talking for some time about modern testing principles, including the principle that states that we want to expand testing knowledge and testing expertise across the team. So today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about how we can get developers we work with to do much better and much more complete testing and how we can help them to do that versus doing that work for them. The three paths I'll talk about today are sharing, which I've subtitled the truth about whole team quality, more on that in a moment. Pairing, which is working with developers and other people on the team to do better testing and more thorough testing together and learning from each other. And then caring, which is moving from helping the team by doing their testing for them to coaching them to think more about testing at a holistic level. Dive into sharing or a shared sense of ownership and quality across the team. When Lisa Crispin and Janet Gregory wrote their Agile testing book, they talk about whole team quality, and this has been in other publications as well, and Lisa and Janet got it right. But what unfortunately I've seen in a lot of teams, a lot of Agile software teams, is the tester on that team is still responsible for all or almost all of the testing. Everyone on the team should understand that testing is part of their job. Testing is how we reduce risk. Testing is how we learn more about the product. And I'm not talking about developers writing unit testing and thinking that's enough. For me, writing unit tests is the bare minimum you need to be an employed developer in today's software world. Everyone on the team should be able and willing and excited about doing exploratory testing, performance testing, security testing. There's a lot of testing tasks that can be done across the team. And that comes from this shared sense of quality and ownership. One of my favorite quotes is from Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, where, slightly paraphrased, the punchline is quality and care are two sides of the same coin. The team needs to put care into their work, and care starts with testing. So this shared quality culture, this is the basis for the other two paths. Let's start here and build on that. Let's talk about pairing or the power of testing together. First, I want to start with a story from my past, which may be too familiar and too recent for some of you for comfortableness, but I'll tell it anyway. It starts when a developer would come to me and say, hey, Alan, can you test this for me? And I would say, sure, it's my job. I'll test it for you. And I'd find some bugs and I'd tell them about the bugs and they'd fix them, but not all of them. And we'd go back and forth trying to get bugs fixed and introducing new bugs. It's a horribly inefficient way to make software and to make quality software and to do testing. So over time, what that's moved to is when test coaches on my team or I am approached about testing, first of all, the developers, they may start with, can you test this for me? But it really starts with, can you help me test this? And the first question we ask is, what have you tested already? Well, I've done unit tests which as an aside are a bare minimum amount of testing to remain employed as a developer in today's software world. But they'll say I've done unit tests, plus I've done some functional tests and a little bit of end to end. Great. Let's work on the what's remaining together. And in that pairing, lots of great knowledge transfer happens. The developer learns more about testing. The tester or the test coach learns more about how the product works. That cycle may continue until it may get to a point where the developer says, can you help me test this? I've already tested A, B, C, and D. I could use some help on thinking, out, thinking about what else is remaining. And I may ask, or our coach may ask, what testing do you think is remaining? And they'll say, well, I, nothing I can think of. And even at that stage, they may do some testing together, but eventually gets to a point where the testing has been done and we can just ask, well, what are you still worried about? Which is a great way to identify risk. And in that worry, the developer may say, there's one scenario where it just doesn't feel right. Can we test that together? And again, the knowledge transfer happens, lots of learning happens, and we get a better tested product, which is a better experience for our customers in the end. Pairing is super powerful. I highly recommend it and I highly recommend asking these great questions. And the third path is caring or coaching the team towards quality. 
I've already mentioned coaching a few times in this presentation, and I think it's really important. I'd like to talk about three books I think are valuable for anyone helping the team improve. If your role is to help the organization improve their quality culture or help the team improve testing, I think these books will be really valuable. The first one is Jerry Weinberg's Secrets of Consulting. What I've learned from this book is to ask a lot of questions, ask more questions, and get people to think about what it is they really want to accomplish. The next book is The Getting Naked Book by Pat Lencioni. And you may know his Five Dysfunctions of a Team book, which is very popular and also a very good book. This book is about his consulting business and above all, they're humble. He also talks about asking questions. He talks about not being afraid to ask questions you may think are dumb. And I cannot count the number of times I've asked questions that I was sure I was gonna get laughed at for asking that ended up getting some insights discovered across the team. So those two books are all about asking questions and being humble, about getting people to think about what they want to accomplish through questioning. And then finally, the coaching habit is really helpful. It's important as you're doing coaching and growing towards a coaching culture to recognize the difference between training where, like in the example of pairing, we're helping the developers do better testing by working with them, to coaching, which is a little bit more of a reflective, insightful process where we we'll ask them questions about, well, what do you think is the best thing to do here? Or what do you think the risk is? And getting people we work with to be more reflective in how they approach quality. But this coaching aspect, I think, encapsulates the first two paths and gets you in a position where you can help the team reach new heights in quality. The framework for everything I've talked about today is the thing that Brent Jensen, my podcast partner, and I call modern testing. And our modern testing mission is accelerate the achievement of shippable quality. I think that if you look at what I've talked about today and apply those things on your teams, that you will achieve this mission. I want to thank everyone for uh, listening today. And if you'd like to contact me and get any more information about anything I talked about, uh, Twitter handle, podcast location, and my email address are all there for you to jot down and take advantage of. I look forward to hearing your questions at any time and interacting with you in the community. I hope you enjoy the rest of Testflix, and I hope you learned something good today. Thank you, and goodbye.